Welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours too. So today is episode number 173 of the Level Up program and it is day number 14 of the Brown Belt Level. And if you're new to the program here, this is all about learning how to shoot the dice and practice our trend-based betting system. Good morning, CCC. And we are going to continue on with our uh, throwing, uh, following the George's, uh, George from CY Dice Matrix. And um, we're going to be today throwing from stick right one. And this is going to be our third time throwing from this, this position. The last time we threw from it, we actually were feeling comfortable towards the end. Um, so let's see how we pick up as we go forward with this. It appears to me that Crapsy is working today, so make sure that you jump on Crapsy. If you're following along with Crapsy, the code is Z5G2M3. And before we get started here, let's do one shooter here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get start. Uh, I'm going to show you my statistics for the Brown Belt level so far. Again, like I said, I've been tracking it on uh, Excel spreadsheet. So as soon as we get a few more people in here watching, then we will show the statistics now. So let's get started in the craps. It's 25 dollar pass line. We're going to go the five dollar craps check, five 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 on that ATS, and we'll go all but set here using that Yuri grip. And we're going to do underhand toss from this position. So coming out the shooter number one, roll number one. And I'm going to try to shoot it to that opposite corner, that opposite hook. And the dice crossed when they landed and we got the five, six mid mo yo. So this is the right die, the left die. And that is a come out. And again, we're going to try to analyze the dice as we go here. And uh, so that way we know what the dice are doing. So the right die, that was, that was a single pitch. And the left die was a single pitch backwards. So that was ultimately a double pitch. So a single one in there. So it was a double pitch. And that is one of the results of that. Good morning, Roger. So let's get our bets set up here. We're gonna go 220 inside. Oops, we're not gonna do our bets yet because we are still on that come out. So 25 dollar pass line again. Uh, we're gonna go five dollar craps check again. And we won a profit of $20 off that last one so far. So let's go all bets side again. Three, two, three, six. Yuri grip. And we're going underhand throw. And again, this is still come out, shooter number one. And again, the dice cross. This time we got the Old Bay Bushel. And that would be Craig from Old Bay Craps, 5-5 five, five, hard 10. So let's analyze the dice really quick with that. So what we got is a... Um, we had a single pitch backwards on the left die, and the right die imploded. So we had one die off axis. So the first one was a double pitch, and the second one was a one die off axis. So if you go on the left column there, it says double pitch. You go all the way to the end, one die off axis, it means that we're going to a kissing set next. So our kissing set is going to be the, um, I'm going to leave my stick down here because it's out of the way. Uh, the kissing set is a 4224 for us. That's what we're using. Good morning, Coach Joe. We got six people so far watching us on YouTube. It's a slow start to the day. And um, our point is 10, so we're going to go 220 inside. And that's going to be fifty dollars on a five and nine, sixty in that six and eight, and we've got three people in Crapsy right now. So Crapsy is working good to morning this morning so far, guys. I'm not sure if there's any bugs that are going on. Good morning, Jr. Uh, but we uh, are going to try that uh, and see how it works for us. So four two two four, 
And when we get done with the end of this first shooter, guys, I'm going to show you my statistics for the brown belt. Remember, I said I was keeping track in, in um, Excel, Microsoft Excel. I'm not using Bone Tracker for the brown belt level because we are using all the different dice sets. And Bone Tracker only records one set of dice. So, dice out. And here we go. And again, the dice are crossing when we get down there. But we have a 2-2 two, two heart 4. So that's the right and the left. So 2-2 two, two, heart 4. And again, last time we had one dice off axis. And this is going to be one dice off axis as well. So let's... Uh, Look at our screen. I know what the answer is going to be, but let's look at our screen really quick. One dice off axis on the left side. Go all the way to the end. Right, one die off axis on the right side. On the top is going to be a hard way set. So that's one of them that I actually memorized. And we had a two two for Crapsy. So that was a four. That does nothing for our best. That does help out though with the. Um, with the uh, ATS for us. So JR saying, Craig, I sent you a question in Discord a few days ago. I don't see Craig on the chat right now. Um, so we'll see if he shows up, unless my chat's not showing everything. Uh, so we got hardway set, hardway set. So we had two one dice off access there. So we're gonna go with the five, four, five, four hardway set. And this is going to be roll number four for shooter number one. And here we go. And that time the dice did not cross it. Guys, we got that hard four again, the two, two, hard four. So again, that's being one dice off axis. We're going to stick with that hard way set. So, so far the four is hot. Now, this lends me to, to, to think about this because we hit the four twice already. We hit the 10 once. We're hitting those outside numbers. Um, and that was a one die off axis, first of all. And then we had a, uh, a primary hit. So let's look at what we're going to throw here. So one die off axis on the left side and a primary in the top side, on the top means we're going to stick with that hard way set. And since we hit the fours and the tens so far, let's do this one. So let's add $15 to that. Uh, we'll go a $20 by four. And it's not, oh, let's do this one. So there you go, $20 by four. And the 10 is covered on the pass line. So let's go all that set. Sticking with that hard way set. Okay, five, four, five, four, and dice out. Again, we're using that Yuri grip, and we're doing an underhand style. This is similar to what Uncle Mel does from Craps Hawaii. And we have a leaner that is going to be coming down on a three, hopefully, because that is a three. There we go. So we have a three, five, eight. That would be the easy eight. And that is a single pitch. So we had a primary and then a single pitch. So primary on the left side, followed over to a secondary, which is a V set coming up next. So that hard way set is really easy to, to tell what the dice results are. The three V is a little bit harder uh, to tell. So we're gonna go three, two, three, six for a three V. And um, we threw a three five, so let's enter that in Crapsy. So we got an eight, and that's gonna allow us to come down to 110 inside. And I'm gonna keep that $20 on the four for now. So that's our first hit. So we're gonna go 110 inside, and we're gonna go $20 by four. And we're gonna call that all bet set here. Three, two, three, six is the dice set. And dice out. So 
So the last one was a secondary hit, a single pitch. Dice crossed again, and we got a one, a one, two, three, ace, deuce, Alfredo sauce. So that was our um, three, two, three, uh, six dice that are three V. So what happened is our left eye went off axis, and our Right die also went off axis. So that's going to be a drift, I believe. Yep, that was a drift. So we had a secondary and then a drift. So let's look at that. On the left side, you go to secondary. On the top, you go to drift. And that means we're going to stick with that V set. So videos put out yesterday. Let's enter this in craps here really quick. Videos put out yesterday. Jeff did... Uh, his midday show, but he also did a uh, behind the scenes and how he does his live streams video. And I'm thinking about putting another one out as well. I've done some minor ones in the past, um, but he shows all the all the gl uh, glitter that he has, all the, the nice equipment, the, the light bars, the nice cameras, and he has uh, his, his nice recording studio, all that stuff all set up. Um, I'm a lot different than he is. Everything that mine is on the cheap. I use three cell phones to record. I use OBS, which is free. My light uh, floodlights that I have, he had nice LEDs. I made mine out of umbrellas and spotlights um, and bed sheets. So, I mean, I'm going to probably do a video uh, maybe coming up here, guys, just so you guys know that you can also do it a little bit cheaper as well and still, in my opinion, put out a quality video. And we got Nemo in the chat. Good morning. We got Frida. I saw that Jen is on Crapsy. Good morning, Jen. We got Nivaldo. So we're up to 12 people now on um, YouTube. I'm guessing the notification went out late. So here we go. Three, two, three, six. And the dice did not cross this time. We got a two, one, three, ace, deuce again. So that is going to be, the last one was a drift. And this one was a single pitch and a double pitch. I'm sorry, single pitch. So that is ultimately double pitch. So we have a drift and then a double pitch. So a drift on the left side, go over to the um, double pitch. We're sticking with that V-set. It says V-set hybrid, right? And I don't really have a hybrid uh, dice set. So we're going to stick with that, uh, with that 3V. Again, that does nothing for our bets other than the ATS, but we already hit that ace-deuce, so it doesn't matter to us. Good morning, Mike. So as soon as we're done with the shooter, guys, there's a couple things I want to go through. Um, I want to try out something again. Yesterday, I tried out my microphone uh, with a second microphone. I'm going to try it out again today. I think I may have solved the problem, but we will try it out and see what happens. But three, two, three, six, and we're going to go dice out. <clears throat> again, we're looking for that hook, the opposite side of the table. And the dice really did hook, hit that hook, and um, they flew to the other side, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we have the 1-5 uh, mixer, Chris from Sideshow Gamble. So that is going to be one die off axis, that's going to be two die off axis. So what happened is we have an implode and an impulse. So we had a double implode. So we went from a double pitch on the left side there, and then we had uh, two implodes, um, which I believe is that implode explode on, the th on that. So we're going to stick with that V set again. And again, guys, if you um, wanted a copy of this of this chart here, I'm sure George from CUI would would share it with you if you get a hold of him, or you can just screenshot it on my. Um, 
output here. And then I'm going to also see if there's a way that I can do a share on the description of my video. Probably I'll try to do that either tomorrow or I'll do it next week. Good morning, Leon from Great Craps. Welcome to Level Up. I have not seen you here yet, my friend. So this is all about learning how to shoot the dice and learning about my trend-based betting system. So we're going to go 3-2, three, 3-6. Three, and the last roll was a six, so we we're, we got paid out on that, guys. Um, and I did not put it in here. Huh. So hopefully you guys are not cheating on Crapsy, so I'm a little bit delayed on this. We had a five, one, six. That was a, a pay here. And that's going to allow us to come down to 66 inside. So we're going to pull that four, that buy four down. And um, when we do this now, we are going to be into profit for this shooter. So we're going to go 66 inside. Uh, I'm practicing for my Juliet table, which is a $15 table. Um, and that's come up in two weeks here, a week and a half, actually. So we got 15 on the 5 and 9. We got 18 on the 6 and 8. We've brought back 120 to the rack. We have 106 on the table. So you do stop by occasionally. Good. Uh, make sure you do say hi in the chat. I've not seen you in the chat, though, Leon. Uh, everybody's welcome here. And if you guys have comments, make sure you put them in the chat. Questions, comments, get that chat going. And again, three, two, three, six, dice out. And we've got another ace to us. That is a prominent number, guys. You know what I'm going to do here is, and that is um, going to be both dice off axis. So we had a three, two, so that was an implode on the left die, implode on the left die, and the right die was an explode. So it's going to be... Um, what do we have last time, guys? I don't remember what we had. I think this is a drift, by the way. So we're going to stick with the 3V set. I don't remember what we had the last time here. So we have an ace deuce again. And I do not believe I entered that in on KPI. So we're going to enter that in. And we're going to go over to our Crapsy and enter it in on Crapsy. And I'm going to try something different here, guys. I'm going to put ten or $15 on that. Uh, field bet, since that is my minimum bet in Juliet. And we're going to do a $5 hop ace deuce. Uh, we're going to do, I'm sorry, uh, uh, $5 horn ace deuce horn high. So since that is our, we've been throwing an ace deuce quite a bit here. Good morning, SJ. So we are up to 15 people, I believe, on YouTube right now. We have got six people only on Crapsy. Yeah, guys, Crapsy does seem to be working. So if you want to jump on Crapsy, feel free to do it. I know there's been a lot of problems lately with Crapsy with their upgrade or their new version. Um, I know yesterday I was not able to get onto it at all. I lost all my Craps tables. And then now today, this morning, they're all here again. So... So three, two, three, six, dice out. And the dice did cross this time, but this time we got the four, five, Big Mac, hard nine. So let's enter that in as a four, five. And again, we use that three V dice set. So that four is a double pitch on this one. And that five is gonna be an implode. So again, that five was a single pitch there. No, we had a four. I'm sorry. We had a four and had a five. Five was an implode of the dice. So we have one dice off axis. So what did we have last time? Last time we had a um, implode expo, I think it was. Yes. And then we have one dice off axis. So that means we're going to go to that kissing sets now. So one dice off axis. I got to remember that. That's one of my downfalls that I have been having here. And we threw a 5-4 for that last dice set. So 
So that gets paid. So we're going to go to $25 on a five and nine now. And we also got paid on that field bet. So let's go to $25 on a five and nine. And that $15 field bet is going to allow us to pick up that ace deuce horn high again. So we're going to keep on playing that. We got 151 brought back to the table. We got 146, or 151 brought back to the rack. We got uh, 146 in on the table. So 4224 is the kissing set we're going to go with. <clears throat> Yeah, I do say jo Joliet. It's Joliet. At, at. <laughs> the Wisconsin uh, slang, the Wisconsin drawl, or whatever you want to call it. The Uper language. There you go. So 4224. Just like Jen picks on me for saying I threw a crust the table. <laughs> Good morning, Marble Fork. And we got a 5 1 mixer. That'd be Chris from Sideshow Gamble. And um, we're going to have to figure out what this one is because I'm not familiar with my kissing sets on the results. So the left die was a five. So that's uh, uh, on axis, the back of it. So it was a single pitch on the backside. And the one was an explode on the right. So we have one dice off axis. So we're going to go over to that... Um, hard way set with this. So we got a 5 1. And I forgot to do crapsy again. Darn it, guys. 5 1. That was a 6. So we're going to press our 6 and 8 up to $30. And that means we're dropping in $3 in addition to what we had won on, on that. So we're almost at that break even point again because we put a little bit of money in that. We lost that field bet. And we also lost the craps check. Or I'm sorry, the, the horn high. Um, so we're not going to go back up on that because we are getting off of those numbers. We got $30 on the 6 and 8. 152 brought back to the rack. We have 150 on the table. We're in prime position now to start pressing our bets up. 5-4, five, 5-4 four, five, four hard way set. And I saw, and this is a very good first roll here, guys. We are on roll number 13. And dice out. And we got a 4-6. And that would be our point, I believe. So that is one die off access. So we're going to stick with that hard way set. And that is our point. So we're going to be doing a come out here. And that pass line does pay out on that now. So one die off axis is that roll. So we're going to drop down now to a $15 pass line bet. And that pass line win there actually pays for that ATS and any of the craps checks that we had put out there. So we're going to go $15 pass line bet. We're going to go with a $3 craps check now. And... Again, we're sticking with that hard way set here. So, Marble Fork, are you having problems with Crapsy this morning? I have not had any problems yet. And by the way, guys, we need the two and the five for the small. We need that mi uh, midnight, the OMC Craps, all the dots and all the spots for the tall. So, let's go all bet set here. Dice up. Five, four, five, four hard way for this th toss. And we got a 6-4-10, so we're back on that 10. That would be Wayland's best friend in the end. So again, that's one dice off axis. The last one was one dice off axis, so we're going to stick with that hard way set because that is what we use when it's one dice off axis two times in a row. So 
So since we have that 10, uh, we have 174 brought back to the rack. We have 140 in a table. Let's pick up that four for $20. We'll make that a buy bet right away. No, let's make it a place bet for 15. So we're gonna place the four for $15 right now. And we now have got money all the way across. So we're gonna stick with the 5454. Four. And let's go all bet set. And we finally got the Bruce. Five two Bruce. Do not become shark bait. And that is a double pitch. So, like I said, I'm gonna go through a couple of different things here really quick. Um, since we got through that first shooter. And that first shooter, by the way, was 15 rolls long. We had a roll quality uh, score of 79. Good morning, Blackburn. I have not seen you on here for quite a while either. Welcome to Level Up on a Thursday morning. And he says he loves us all. Isn't that special? So Mike says, walk, awesome walking trails in Wisconsin. Also got great cheese. My mom would buy the cheese that came in the container with the wire clips to seal it. Man, it was good. <laughs> I have not seen cheese like that for a long, long time, my friend. So anyhow, let's go through a couple of different things here really quick here, guys. Um, I am going to try something really quick. Yesterday, I was trying to play around with my microphone because I'm going to try to do some uh, some interviews when I'm down in Juliet in a week and a half. So I'm going to turn on my, my second, second microphone, microphone here, guys, and let, let me know in the chat, chat if it is echoey. If, if it is echoey. echoey. If, if it's not, not, if it sounds decent, decent let, let me know in the, the chat, chat as well. well. So, so let, let me know. know. Testing one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So, so wait, wait for a chat, chat to come, come back, back here. here. We have 14 people in. There, there is, is an echo. Okay. okay. Darn, darn it. Darn, darn, it, it, darn, darn it. it. So I got to fix this yet. Now it should be back to normal again. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and I'm going to show you guys that I've been keeping track of the uh, brown belt level. So everything from session five through yesterday is on this chart here. And I remember in the beginning of the brown belt level, uh, Duracell had asked me what a goal was for me, and it um, sounds like I'm in an empty room. I actually am kind of in an empty room. Good morning, Mac. Um, I'm in the basement here with lots of uh, foam rubber and egg cartons on the walls. That's another one of my cheap fixes that I'll show you on that video. Uh, but anyhow, we kept track of, of this, and Duracell had asked me what my goal was, and I said an SOR of somewhere around 10. I really wasn't sure about the SRR. Uh, I was hoping around 8, and he had mentioned that that's a very high, um, very high goal. Um, and if you guys look, we have got 2, 4, 6, eight, nine sessions recorded, and that's exactly where we're at right now. We have an SOR of 10.9 so far, and that was through yesterday. And yesterday, the last two days were actually bad throwing days. And we have that SOR, our SRR up at 804. So something to kind of remember, we're not throwing a lot of come out sevens here, and we have 350 rolls in during that time period. So we have an average of 4.227 outs so far. But anyhow, kind of an idea of what's going on and how I keep track of all that stuff. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you that. So we are on shooter number two finally. So we've had a very lengthy roll this morning. And our last one was a 5-2, which is a double pitch. So we want one dice off axis and we went to a double pitch. Let's see what we're going to be going with here now. So we have one ice dice off axis on the left side, double pitch on the top. So we're going to go with that kissing set to come out for our new shooter here. So 4-2-4, four, four, or 4 two, two, four is going to be our dice set. And let's get Crapsy set up here. Sorry about the talking here today, guys, but I do want to, wanted to cover a couple different things here. Um, 
So we're going to go back again, 25 to our pass line, but we're going to go fight our crap check. 5-5-5 five, five, five on the ATS. We got close to hitting that ATS on the last shooter, and we only made um, $19. In the Crapsy chat, um, Frida is asking me what a drift is. A drift is when the dice go down and they both roll the same way. So, for example, let me go over to the dice cam here once. And I will show you guys what a drift is. So let's go to the 545 for hardware set. If the dice both go the same way on a hardware set, you're going to have the midnight. So that means they drifted right. If they drift to the left, we would have the aces. So hopefully that helps explain to you, uh, Frida, what that drift is. And what other things we are? Okay, so Roger actually answered that. Thank you, Roger. So, okay. Um, four, two, two, four. And we are going to go all bet set. Seven people in Crapsy. We got 17 people watching on YouTube. Four, two, two, four. Here we go. Come on. That was a little bit low of a throw. We got a three, four, seven. So that is a double pitch. That is a come out seven. So we went with two double pitches now. So what do we go with that now? Because this is going to be a tough one. Double pitch is always kind of a hard thing for everything. So we're going to go with the all seven set or V set. You know what, guys? Let's go with the all seven set because I have not thrown that yet and I've really not talked about that all seven set either. So, my all seven set is going to be the 1265. Um, so, we had the four three come out seven. So, we're going to stick with that $25 pass line bet and a five dollar crap check we made five dollars off of that throw by the way so five dollars crap check five 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 on the ats and then we're going to go with the 12 65 dice set so that's going to be the all sevens and this is considered part of the hardway family uh, i believe um as george from cy puts it so all that set I should have drifted for that tall before. That would have been nice. But unfortunately, I can't predict what these dice are going to do. All I can do is work on my mechanics. And now we are working on the dice sets as well. The dice did cross down there. And we got a 2-6, the Duracell 8. Go out and support live crafts. So our new point is going to be 8. This is shooter number 2. And... Now we got to really analyze this because I really have not, um, that was just a single pitch of the dice. So we had um, a double pitch and then a single pitch. Let's see what we got for now. So we have a double pitch on the left side there and we have a single pitch or a secondary. So we're going to go back to that V set or the kissing set. Let's go to the V set here. So we're going to go to the 3236 three, again. And that was a uh, Duracell 8, so it was a 2 6. And that's going to allow us to go to the 220 inside bet level here. Uh, but we're not going to put anything on the 8. We're going to place uh, pass line odds, actually. So let's get our bets up first. And then we're going to put 40, $35 in pass line odds. So we got 50 on that 5 and 9. We got 60 on that 6. And let's call that all bet set. 3, 2, 3, 6. And here we go. And the left die left a little bit later than the right die, but we have the OMC craps, all the dots and all the spots, midnight. So we got a 12 off of that, and that was a, um, the 3, 2, 
three six, that's one dice off axis. So we have, um, oh, what did we have the last time to get that kissing set? I forget what we threw. Um, to get that kissing set, we got, all right, all subs that we had a double pitch. So we go a double pitch and then one dice off axis. So we're gonna stick with the kissing set now. We're gonna go to that kissing set. So we're gonna go back to the four, two, two, four. And well, let's put 6612 in Crapsy. That's going to help us with that ATS bet. And 4224. Let's go all bet set here. And dice out. And we have a five, three, eight. That would be eight K easy. So that would be an explosion of that left eye. So we had one die off access two times in a row here. And that's going to put us in that hard way set for our next row. So one dice off access. And we had a two, oh, I'm sorry, five, three. That was our point, by the way. So we hit our point, which is awesome. So we're going to go down to $15 on that pass line bet. We're going to go $3 on the craps check. And once we get a point set, we're going to come down to the 110 inside bet level. So 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. And all bets set. Here we go. Dice crossed again. We got a 6 4 10. Actually, the 4 6 10. That would be Waylon's best friend way in that end. Daddy Joe. So we use the hard way set. That's going to be one dice off axis. So that's one dice off axis two times in a row. And let's get Crapsy set here. So we're back on the 10 now. And that means that we're going to come down to 110 inside here. So let's pull our bets down. We'll go 110 inside. 5454. Five, four. And all bets set. Perhaps you did not pay your eight. Okay, that is something. Hopefully uh, Chuck or one of his team members are watching. They can check it out. So Max said that Crapsy did not pay the eight. My eight did get paid out. Dice out. And we got that 10 again, four, six, 10. So we hit that, that would be a buck shot. Again, one dice off access. We've thrown a lot of these 10s today. So again, we're going to stick with that hardway set. So when we have one dice off axis two times in a row, the hardway set is what is there. So we're going to stick with our 110 inside. Once we come up, we're going to take a one hit at that. We're going to stick with that $15 pass line bet here, $3 craps check. Our ATS is still in attack. We have not hit any small so far. We only hit the 8, 10, and 12 with the tall so far. And all bet set. I'm actually liking this toss from this side. So if I have to go and stick right one, I think I would feel comfortable doing it. So we have the one, three, four, big Joe from Craps Master Journey. Again, one dice off access. And that is our first one, three, four that we've thrown today. So again, we're gonna stick with that hard way set. So one, three, four, new point is four. 
And all of our box numbers are turned back on. I'm almost tempted to pick up that 10 right now. Let's do that once. So we're going to place the 10 for 15. And I'll bet set. Again, we've been picking up a lot of those 10s today. So one dice off axis. We got 5, 4, 5, 4, and dice out. Here we go. Underhand grip. And we got a 639 this time. That would be the center field nine. So again, one dice off axis. And I will take that one die off axis all day long for this hardway set. So we got a 6-3. And that's going to allow us to come down on our bets. Now we're going to go to that 66 inside bet level. So, perhaps he is a little slow, though. I will say that, unless it's my tablet that's slow. So, 66 inside. We got 15 on that 5 and 9. We got 18 on that 6 and 8. There's a $15 pass line bet. We have 111 brought back to the rack. 96 on the table right now. 5-4. Five, 5-4 four, five, four hardware set. And they salt. And we got another 639. Centerfield nine. So talk about consistency here. I know Chris from Dice Degen is back doing his uh his wagering videos again. Uh it's talking about fantasy football is the topic that he has going on for a couple of days here. Uh, so if you're into fantasy football or interested about learning how to do fantasy football, make sure you check that out. It is on Casino Gaming uh, TV, and Chris from Dice Degen is putting those videos out, and he does a wonderful job at doing that stuff. So um, one dice off axis again, stick with that hard way set. Five, four, five, four. that was nine hits. We're going to go to $25 on the nine and five. So this is the start of our trend betting. 132 brought back to the rack. 116 on the table. And all that set. Dice out. Dice crossed on me. We're <laughs> back on that 10. 6, 4, 10. Or actually the 4, 6, 10 this time. Again, one dice off access, and that would be Waylon's best friend on that end. And it looks like if I start betting, it would be my best friend way in the end also, but I have not betting, betting it much yet. Um, let's put $15 on that 10. See if we can at least pick up something off of it. So placing it for 15, and I'll bet set. Five four five four. Remember, two one dice off axis rolls in a row gives you the hard way set for your next set. And we've thrown probably what five or six one dice off axis so far in a row. And we have a two one a one two ace deuce. That'd be the Alfredo sauce. And again, one dice off access. Different numbers came up this time, but it still is one dice off access. And that does nothing for our bets other than the ATS. So all we need is that mid mo yo for the tall, and we'll get that. Mike, thanks for stopping in, my friend. We'll talk to you later. So five, four, five, four. Hopefully we can pick up that Midmo Yo. I used to throw a lot of those. I have not thrown many recently. And that brings back memories of one of our favorite personalities from the craps community. Dice out. And we have 314 Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. Again, one dice off access. 
Talking about Midmo Yo, I saw a quick blurb last night about a video coming out from Midmo Yo, uh, and I believe it was his wife that put it out. And as soon as it came out, I clicked on it right away, and it showed private, and I didn't see anything after that. So I almost wonder if uh, if his wife put out a video to somebody or something, um, and it didn't come out right. Uh, I hope it did. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, we got 5454, that was one dice off axis again. Let's see if we can get that Midmo Yo, which would be a single, um, actually that would be an explosion of one of the dice, either the explosion of the right or an implosion of that left, which is possible because we are doing one dice off axis for majority of our throws here. Just surprised we haven't gotten it yet. And we got a 6-3 this time, so that got close, 6-3. It'd be center field nine. Again, one die off access. So we're sticking with that hardway set. And that's going to allow us to press our bets also up to five and nine, up to $35 each. So Blackburn, you saw that private as well. I would like to know what the video was and if it was posted as private by mistake. Um, I would really like to see that, or if it was actually geared towards somebody uh, individually, probably like Jeff or John or something like that. So $35 on that five and nine, all bet set, five, four, five, four. And all bet set. That happened probably about, I don't know, it must've been about three, four o'clock in the morning, central time is when I saw that come out. And we got that one, six, seven, guys. I think we're going to call it quits here. That is a both dice off axis there, by the way. We're going to call it quits for the day. Let's get it entered in Craftsy here. And then we're going to go through and we're going to look at our statistics for the day. Uh, we had two really good rolls. We had a 15 and a 14. I thought I put in the 3-1. I did not, and I apologize. And there's no, unfortunately, no way to go back, guys, to do that on, on Crapsy. That is one of the bad things about Crapsy, um, that I can't go back and change it. I can change it in my KPI roll tracker on the screen here, but I cannot change it on Crapsy. But let's go through our statistics for today. We had uh, a total of 29 rolls. We had a 14.5 SLR, a 9.7 SRR, one come out seven with two seven outs. Box numbers are expected, inside numbers are low. Fours and tens were off the charts mostly because of those tens. Uh, but we did get a lot of fours as well. We had low come out sevens, high horns, extremely high fields. Hardways are a little low. We we're on a light side play today. So our strong numbers were the three, four, and 10. So those were our numbers in that. Um, so let's go back to our main screen. Let me check the chats here before we finish up here because I see a bunch of them came through at the end. Um, <laughs> Jen says, I messed you guys up. Oh my God. Jen, I have a big shoulder. You can come over and cry on it anytime you want. Um, Crystal went live. She made a shrine on Shiro's table. It was sad. Uh, she's planning a memorial service. I would like to see that video, uh, CCC. That would be awesome. Um, Crapsy he's still having glitches, Roger says, and I believe it probably is, except for that 314 I forgot to put in. So, but hey guys, thanks for joining in today. Uh, we will be going again live tomorrow morning, uh, Friday morning. But hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours to have a safe and prosperous day, everyone. Good night.